Hello peoples! In this episode we're going to be doing some fancy intro stuff. No we're not. Yes we are. Ninja. Hello 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host William Hugh. No you're not. Yes I am. You know I get a surprising number of messages from people saying things like Right, see, um... See, all I've got to edit on is Windows Movie Maker and all my intros look like this. Mega Film Productions See, is there any way I can make cool looking intros just using Windows Movie Maker? Well, mes enfants, the answer is yes. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. And here's how. The first thing you will need for a cool intro is a snazzy background video loop. So go to Google and search for free video loop and you should get a ton of sites offering them. Here is one of the better known free loop sites, movietools.inf. And this is where I will get my video loop from. As you can see, there are a number of video loops right here on the front page. But the one I want is hidden away on page 4. And there it is at the top of the page. Energy Sphere. Clicking on it takes you to the download page, where you can see how the loop performs by clicking on the little image of it. And here are the download options. As I'm using Windows Movie Maker, I will obviously take the WMV option. Now don't forget to read the terms of the website. Free download sites usually like you to acknowledge their contribution in your credits in return for your clip. Now you need some cool copyright free music. Once again Google is your friend and a search should yield a wealth of such sites. I'll be using the free music provided by media.co.uk. Just click on the free music tab and the title I'm looking for Warriors is here. So just right click on it Choose Save Link As, tell it where you want your file saved, and click Save. Excellent! So now we've got our video, we've got our music, and we've got Windows Movie Maker. Let's make our intro. As you can see, I've already opened Windows Movie Maker, and here is the video file I downloaded, and here is the music file I downloaded. So I'll just drag these into Movie Maker. By the way, make sure you're using the timeline. If your line looks like this, then you have it on storyboard mode. So find the button that says either storyboard or timeline. It may be in different places in different versions of Movie Maker. And you can also find it under the view tab here. Just click it to get the timeline. Now drag your video clip to the video timeline. And I'm just going to zoom in on it a little bit using the zoom button here just so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Now drag down the audio file to the music stroke audio line. And let's play it and see what we've got. Okay, it looks like a good starting bass. The audio is way too long of course, so I'm going to shorten it by placing the cursor here, then clicking on the audio clip, and then clicking the split button, which will chop the clip into two. Then I simply right click on the unwanted bit and select delete. Gone. Now to add some titles. So I'll click on tools and titles and credits. We can add titles at the beginning, before, on, or at the end of the clip. I'm choosing the on the selected clip. As you can see there are two boxes here to type your title into. You can choose to just have one box by clicking on change the title animation. And as you can see you can choose one line, two lines, credits etc. And as you click on them an example of how they work will appear on the preview screen. I'm going for the two line titles 
because the first line of the title is bigger than the second line, which is just what I want. And I'm choosing the standard Fade In and Out title. OK, so click on the Edit the Title text and enter your title. In this case, Mega Films in the top box and Production in the bottom box. The typeface, however, leaves a lot to be desired, so I'm going to tweak it by clicking on the Change Text Fonts and Colours. First, I'll change the colour here and choose a nice bright yellow. Lovely. Now, change the fonts here. SF Movie Poster sounds good. Yes, that's more like it. The transparency slider will make your title more transparent, should you want it, but I'm leaving it at zero. I could do with a bigger size text, however, so clicking on the large size letter will let me increase the size of my title. There, that should do it. Should you want to, you could also add bold, italic, or underlined attributes here. And you can change the standard alignments here. But I'll be keeping mine in the middle. Once you're happy with it all, you can click Add to Timeline. Right now it looks like this. So further tweaking is needed. I'd quite like the title to appear on the first a baboom of the music, which we can see on the audio here. Now a lot of this will be trial and error, so bear with me, but I'll begin by moving the beginning of the titles under the baboom bit. OK, let's try that. Excellent! It would also be nice if I could get the second title, the Productions bit, to coincide with the second quieter baboom. To do this I'll need to slow down the titles, which is easily done by just stretching it on the timeline. To stretch, or indeed shrink the title, just grab the right hand side with your mouse and pull, or push. Again it's pretty much trial and error, but just keep adjusting it until you hit the right spot. I'll try it there and see how we go. Well, that looks pretty good, actually. Now, using the same trimming method, I'll just trim the length of the audio to match the length of the titles, so that they all finish together. Like that. Now, it's all finishing rather abruptly, so to smooth out the ending, we can add a fade by right-clicking on the video clip and choosing Fade Out. That's better. And exactly the same on the audio clip, which produces a nice smooth finish. Right, so let's see what we've got so far. Pretty good, but I still feel that the opening section before the titles appear needs something, so let's tweak it. So I'm just going to place my cursor just before the beginning of the titles, there, click on the video clip and split it. I now effectively have two video clips, and because the original clip had a fade out on the end, both new clips will also have a fade out as we can see on the first clip here. To seamlessly join these two clips, we need to remove this first fade. So right click on the clip and unclick the fade out option. As you can see the split is now undetectable. Now to do something a bit more interesting with the first clip. So I click on the tools tab, choose effects and I'm looking for a sort of corner zoom out, so let's have a look. This one looks about right, so I'll place my cursor on the clip so you can see the effect, and then I'll just drag and drop the effect onto the clip. 
yeah, the effect isn't as big as I wanted. So I'm going to drop the effect onto the clip twice more. This will triple the effect. And there you go. As you can see, it is really zoomed out now. So if we run it all, we should see it zoom out before the titles appear. And that's that pretty much complete. So render to video, and this is what you get. So there you go my little ones, get yourself onto the interwebs, download your bits and get making those intros. I am now off to Cornwall for a week's holiday. No we are not. You're dead. I killed you, you're dead. You can't kill me. I don't really exist. I'm a fictional character. Oh that's alright. Because this is a fictional gun. <coughs> peace. Perfect peace. And I'll see you next time on the Media Channel.